That cereal box campaign didn't do jack. Campaign cannot start due to funding. Ho ho ho, great. Alright, it's one last midnight. We're gonna play a little bit of <clears throat> Planet Coaster, excuse me. And so I started playing Planet Coaster on a live stream, uh, probably like a week ago. And uh, played one episode. And it was kind of interesting. I'd, I'd never played Planet Coaster before. Planet Coaster is a builder slash management game. It's more on the management side. And, um, you know, it's a theme park. You're building a theme park. And you're trying to keep your guests happy and, and um, all of that good stuff. So you're building rides and checking all that out and decorating your park. And I thought it'd be really cool to start with a park that is... Um, nothing and just build one up so i want to try a winter park i want to try a winter park i don't want to try hard because i'm not i'm not very skilled at this so let's do um uh midnight's can i do apostrophe yeah winter wonderland beautiful Midnight's Winter Wonderland. Here we go. We're going to start new. We're going to do medium, which is a limited amount of money. Not like extreme. Hard and super hard is like really extreme. I have a, a huge area to work with to start off with. So I've got uh, new research available, new challenge available. We can view the challenges. Um, I've got a, a profit challenge. Achieve um, a monthly profit from shops and facilities of 500. I've got a uh, new research project available. I guess I can research any single one of these guys. Problem is I don't have a lot of cash. So I don't want to go overboard. Let's see what I have to begin with. I've got a couple rides. Screamer, the madness. And uh, i got a couple track rides. Okay. A lot of things I can't afford right now. I've got some uh, kitty rides, a little smaller rides. Which I could probably afford two of those. Shops and facilities. We can get some of those down. What is this one right here? Sci-fi. Uh, Chef Beef. A small sci-fi entrance. A west entrance. Uh, is this like an entrance to the... Uh, to the park? Let's, let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, I think it is an entrance to the park. I don't know if it's an entrance to the park or if it's an entrance to... Festive entrance small. Festive entrance, large fairy tale. I, that might be like to an area. I think that's what they're thinking. It's like it's to an area, not necessarily to this little section here. So let's, we have our line. It's, it's a little hard to see, but our line is over here, which means we can actually build on this area. Let's, let's get a ride in right off to the side over there. And let's get uh, probably one of the cheaper rides in because I just can't afford much of anything right now. Yeah, we can build all the way up in here, which is fantastic. So we'll get a couple of these little rides going. Let's get a path built out. Um, let's stick with the same color path. I think is is fine. It's gonna cost me a little bit of money to get this path in. Okay, and um, let's look at one of these tiny rides. I mean, I can't afford any of these. I'd love to be able to put some of this stuff down. These are really big rides, though. So we have to have a lot of space for those. Track rides. Same with the coasters. So we can get in a couple of these, right? Let's get in the Insanity. We'll put this off to the side over here. That'll give me enough room to... Uh, really work with it. Oh, shoot. I'm trying to get better controls. I think Z lets me rotate. There we go. Z lets me rotate. So how about we put the insanity up in here? 
right back here. Now you're trying to say, why am I going to put it way up in here? Because I, I want to... I want to make sure that I have enough room... Uh, to build, like, a little, uh, entryway. Like, I want to connect, like, a, a little entranceway. And then I want to be able to put, like, um, I think... Let's connect the, the, the pathway. So this path is going to be the path that people are trying to enter the ride with. And so let's, um, let's see, let's see if we can kind of wrap it as best we can. Let's give him a little turn stylish area here. And that we can kind of decorate. They should have like a pre-built one where you can just stick one in. That'd be cool. All right, that's going to be the entrance to the ride. Pretty far. This is going to be the exit from the ride. Okay, perfect. Oops. Perfect. And let's put in here... Because we need to have some shops and stuff. Like I, I need, you know, bathroom is going to be really important. I have no bathrooms. I have no food, no drink, no... What is that? Park entrances. I have... <laughs> I got nothing! Are you kidding me? Okay, I think my first thing that I'm gonna have to do... We're gonna have to research... Uh, research food? I, man, what about a bathroom? Thrill ride. Man, I'd really like to research a toilet. Alright, ATM is going to be important. Food and drink is going to be important. Um, other one is going to be important. That's $200 a month. Let's start another research. Get an ATM in there. It's $100 a month. Let's get the gift shop in. Actually, let's not get the gift shop in. Let's start a drink. Okay. So money, food, and drink. Uh, bathroom would have been really, really great. Let's get down. One security guard. One mechanic. They're not going to have a lot to do, but one janitor. Let's pause this right now. All right, well that that's decent start. How much money do I have? I have a thousand. Can I put down another ride? Do I have money for it? I can put down the whirly jig. Let's put down the whirly jig. Let's put the entrance. Somewhere over here. Let's place the exit. On the back side like that. Let's go ahead and connect the entrance up. At two hundred and something dollars. Oh, uh, that's not gonna work. I wanted that to turn a little bit more. Where's my uh, delete path? Is 
There we go. I'm gonna kind of angle this guy right next to the other one. Okay. And the exit, we're gonna tie into the other exit. We're gonna tie these guys together. If it's gonna let me. Ah, oh, perfect. Good. I was concerned that it wasn't gonna let me. Good, we got both exits down. We've got both rides down. Uh, let's see. How about money? How much am I gonna have to... What is this? Current price is four bucks. Current price is seven bucks. Alright, let's let people in. Let's let this go. That's a really good question. How do I get people in? Because they don't know how to get people in. How about, can I start a marketing campaign? Let's just print poster. Low marketing impact attracts more groups of teenagers for families. Can't really afford that one. Let's start that one. Auto renew. Er, I only have like 30 bucks on me. Oh, I'm running into the negatives already. How do we get people in? This is going to be an interesting learning experience, uh, my friends. Because I don't know how to get people into the park. Uh, we're losing cash. Losing a bunch of cash. I have not seen one person come in yet to my Winter Wonderland Park. Yeah, I, I get that. I'm down some cash for sure. Is it because I didn't turn these rides on? Rides are now on. I am down a thousand coin. That cereal box campaign didn't do jack. Campaign cannot start due to funding. Oh, ho, ho, great. Ah, oh, here we go. People have started to enter into my park. Oh, I was getting nervous about people coming into my park. Come on, you're going to have to get me out of this hole. You guys are just going to have to... Really put some bucks in here. Let's see how much I'm making off of this. I'm, I'm actually losing money on this ride. I'm, I'm, it's kind of gaining back though. Let's see, how about this guy? Is he gaining back? Yeah. Lifetime profit, he's coming back. Potential monthly profit, though, but running costs, mm, potential monthly income, potential monthly profit. Yeah, this ride needs to come up significantly. Let's make this a $10 ride. Actually, we're going to have to go more than that, aren't we? If I make this a $15 ride, okay. $15 ride, I'm making some profit off of this. That, I'm losing money a month on it. So let's turn this into a $6 ride. And let's see what happens here. 
since my monthly running cost is I've got potential profit there. Uh, question is how am I going to keep these people satisfied? Marketing campaign canceled during uh, due to cost. I'm still like hemorrhaging cash pretty fast though. Okay, I'm starting to see a little bit of a profit. This is way overpriced because people are not going to want to get on here. Let's drop down to $14. Potential profit revenue. We started at... Um, we started at what? We started at uh, seven dollars for that ride. Okay, let's see if people start getting back into this. This ride here. Yeah, I got some people coming in. Except our. I'm looking at the monthly. Down here. And we are not bringing it in fast enough. We are actually losing money on this. This has got to go to $7. We need to figure out what the happy medium is. And let's bring this to 12. From 10 to 12. We need to get another campaign going, but I don't even have the money to run a marketing campaign right now. Can I get a breakdown of this? I need a better breakdown of this. Finances. Park management is... Let's fire some people. Uh, let's fire him. And we're going to fire him. We're going to keep the security guard on for now. If it starts getting too dirty... Then we'll hire back up a maintenance guy. Rides and ticket costs. Ride running costs are still high. And the ticket sales are not covering it. Park management. The only thing I have is staff wages, right? Construction costs, cash flow. Yeah, I am like losing money here. Come on, man. I don't want to take this at a loss, but... Considering I can't get a marketing campaign running because I have no money, is there a way to take out a loan? I can take out a loan. Thirty percent interest loan. Oh my god. Thirty percent interest loan. There's a lot of vomit in the park. Great. We need to get that fixed. <laughs> uh, hey, dude. You old guy? You old timer? Uh, we need to hire a janitor. You got to clean that up, buddy. Is there really a lot of vomit in the park? That's pretty gnarly. 
I think we have the janitor working on it, right? Yeah, you go over here. You are the weirdest looking janitor on the planet. Okay, good job. Good job. Alright, we're just gonna have to figure it out. We're gonna have to figure it out. I don't know if I want to take a loan or not. I mean, if I take out a loan, God, I'm gonna just give it all to this debt right now. It seems to start making a little bit of money. We'll keep the janitor and the security guard. We clearly need the security guard just to make sure that there's no theft or anything. How is this doing profit-wise? Last month's profit was like 50-something bucks. Not a whole heck of a lot. We are... I say that. I say we are going down and then it's like, this <laughs> is creeping back up again. Uh, profit for this was 60 bucks. Lifetime profit is actually making a profit. This is yet to make a profit. We are getting people on though. $10 might be the money spot. Let's go down to $9.50. Let's see what that does for this ride. Let's go down to $5.50 for this ride. And see what that does. Let's see if we can get some nickels and dimes in here. Get some more people riding these rides. We do have some research still going, right? Uh, da, da, da. Average guest happiness is declining. Of course it is. They're not, um, they're not very happy about the costs or anything else. The money is going to... I'm about to make a profit here pretty soon. Janitors, vendors, finance, overview. Park entry is free. Q for Insanity 3 looks fast. Insanity 3 is broken down. Pause, 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 pause. Got to fix that. So now I actually have to hire a maintenance guy. All right, Mr. Maintenance, get on it. Oh, I did two maintenance guys. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just need one maintenance guy. Get back to park management. Fire. Fire you. Okay, get him fixing this up. I'm losing money here. Good, you back up and running? Excellent. End of month summary. Insanity has been fixed. Hopefully these people go right back onto insanity. Go in there. Go in there. Go in there. Okay. That looks pretty good. Um, I'm just going to have to wait here. I am, I am coming up. Believe it or not. This is starting to look pretty good. Let's look at what we had going on for research. Okay, let's reveal this. We got a shop. Good. We got a gulpy shop. And we got an ATM machine. That's awesome. Start a new research. Cannot be researched due to funding. Cannot be started due to funding. I can't start anything because I am at a negative. Got three new items available. How about marketing? That's done. Can't start a new campaign, can I? $5,000 for this. Nothing can be started due to lack of funding. Let's go back up to $6. Seems like $6 was the magic number for that. And it seemed like $10 was the magic number for that. That was actually starting to get me at some sort of profit. Let's look at the shops and facilities. Didn't I build these things? Oh, get rid of that. Sorry.
I can't put any of these down. I just don't have the cash. I'm reluctant to take a loan, but... I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for the next episode. We're going to we're gonna continue to keep making our winter wonderland. You better believe it. Put a like if you like the series. Leave comments in the comment section below. I have never played this game. So any advice you guys can give me would be incredibly helpful. And we hope to see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay on top of all of our latest video releases. I release content almost every day. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.